all right hello everyone welcome back to my channel my name is jessica today we are filming the next update to my pan that palette pan those palettes because technically there's two it's going to be an eyeshadow palette and a face palette and yep so let's go ahead and get going first we'll talk about our mac quad and i will show you pictures from last month and then from this month Okay, so that was last month and this month. That's the progress. What I have been working on is this shade right here. I believe this one is Creole Beauty. And yeah, it's working pretty good. I use it on the lid, have it on today. I use it with wet, wet brush. Um, these shadows are pretty old, so I'm not really sure if it's, if I need to, if I need to use it because like use the wet brush because they're old or because it's just the way of the product. I'm not really sure. I'm pretty sure that's not the way of the product. Like if I remember correct correctly, like way back when, I think I could have used this without wet brush, but now I can't. I'm really struggling with my words today. Um, but there is lots of progress. Um, it's actually getting pretty hard to put my brush into it. Um, and I'm using like a flat brush, so perhaps that's why. Actually, I can show you which brush I'm using. I'm using this kind of a brush. Obviously it's dirty, I need to wash it. But I'm using this brush um, to put it in and obviously, it's like getting, it's like filling it up pretty fairly. Note to self, just wash your brushes if you haven't already. If you're editing, it's not been washed, go wash your brushes, my goodness. So that's where it is. I'm just gonna try and finish the shadow, continue to try and finish the shadow. On um, the next two, one of these two, which one do you think I should go for? This one I don't need a wet brush for, so it might take actually a little bit longer. I feel like I can pick up more product whenever it's a wet brush. It really doesn't need that much building. It's like tap and then you put it on. It's great. That one is called Aztec Brick. So should I t pan Aztec Brick next? Or this one right here, which is like a, um, it's called Flip. And it's like a gold shape. It also has like a little bit of an orangey, orangey-ish base. There is kind of like a flip. I don't know how to like... Maybe it's like more of a cream to gold. You can't even see it because you have to use a wet brush. What do you all think? Which one? Flip or Aztec Brick? Let me know. So that is the MAC Quad. I think I need to go back and rewatch my intro to this because I'm pretty sure I was like, I don't remember when I introduced these, but I'm almost positive that I was like, oh, it should be done in like July by the latest. <laughs> No, it's gonna, it, this is gonna take me all year. Um, I know, obviously, we all know part of it is probably because of the pandemic and all that, but also I brought in a lot of eyeshadows to my Project 50 pan, so I'm sure that's why. And on top of that, I'm sure things are gonna slow down too because I've introduced a few other product uh, project pans as well. I'm also gonna be doing, introducing another project pan um, in August, so yeah, it's gonna be a lot of project panning, not a lot of time on this, but I'm feeling okay with it. I feel like I, well, you all know, and sorry for this little rambly bit, but the way I pan my products is I take my hand and I take it very seriously and I pan to the, from start to finish and I get going and I've accumulated a lot of my makeup in a very short amount of time, a few years ago. As I was bringing stuff in, I was still in the mentality of finish that, finish what I'm using first. And so I haven't really explored my makeup. A lot of stuff doesn't have a ton of use on it, so I need to change that. So I have this project going. I also have a project 50 pan as well. And um, those are all about like taking my products and using them up. And then I'm also going to, I also have a pan and everything project pan, which is just going to be taking products, hitting pan on it and moving on. And then I also have a five uses project pan right now too, um, which will help me play a little bit more. So I feel like I have good stages on my project pans. I don't know. What do you all think? Um, but yeah, anyways, so Hourglass last month and this month, let's go. Okay, yay! So as you can see, this blush is completely finished from it. I'm so excited. That is huge. I feel like, and it just finished it like yesterday. So, or the last day I did, I don't think I wore makeup yesterday, but the last day I did makeup besides today. So I just finished this. This is huge. I also finished this down here. So there's no more highlighter at the bottom bit. Um, 
yeah bottom bit <laughs> top bit for you so now i just have to do this little bit i'm using this as a highlighter and then after i'm done with this i'm gonna go ahead and start using that as highlighter and then i will be actually like working on so many different like I'll be working on every shade in this palette, or have been working on every shade in this palette. So far, I haven't done that. Um, I'm still using, this is supposed to be bronzer. Obviously, it's not very bronzery because the dark bit, like marble bit, there's not like hardly anything in it. Anyways, so I've been mixing like it with my blushes to kind of tone it down a little bit, although this one really doesn't need it toning down. So I'm not sure how I'm going to continue with this. Um, I also have a Pan and Everything blush. Um, or I have a blush in my pan and everything project, so I may like use this to tap it um, a little bit or maybe just use it a tiny bit as like blush topper. I'm not quite sure, um, but there we go. Project progress. <sighs> Let's go ahead and talk about goals slash predictions. So, oh, well, first of all, I was watching Paula from The Beauty Guru and Me Do It, and she was saying she has like a lot of projects going on too and a lot of makeup and so she was saying I don't really make a ton of progress on my projects because usually I like look to see what's coming up next and then I try and like use get as much progress in you know that project as possible but it's usually like a day before so I don't really use it that much and so I was actually thinking about that and I was like well honestly it's a little smart because if I prioritize like what's coming up next then maybe I can get a little bit more progress on things if that makes sense so what I had been doing is using this palette and then using my pan and everything palette um like every other day basically and I believe I'm gonna do that however the week before I have to film an update I think I'm just gonna use this palette straight um to try and like show updates because with my pan and everything palette and my five uses palette too my five uses I'm doing after I hit goal on either this or my pan and everything palette pan and everything palette also really doesn't have like a set time to do anything with like I'm updating it when I hit pan like I'm up doing an update when I hit pan in something and then I'm, I'm gonna do a video but this I have like I'm updating monthly so I'm gonna go ahead and like whenever it comes time like around the first of the of the month I'll go ahead and start painting this for like a week straight and then update you all um same with this guy because uh, I have blushes and other projects I mean my I don't really have a bronzer in this and I don't really have a highlight in another project. However, I may introduce a highlight soon. So this should be good. And plus this blush seems to be going pretty quickly, but anywho, that's gonna be my plan. Um, that being said, <laughs> goals I think are gonna be, uh, get this to where it's like, I have to repress it. Like it's unusable until I repress it. So I mean, either this will be repressed by next time or it'll be like, I have to repress it so there'll be like hardly anything on the edges so fingers crossed that I can do that with this one I mean I don't think I can have any more big goals the biggest goal was like finishing the top bit and then taking this off so yeah that's good maybe I can get I mean I really just think you know like making more pan in here and making more pan in here um and other than that I just don't think that I need like there's not going to be any other goals that can be made other than just making more pan. And I mean, let's see. I struggled with this last time too. Everything is fairly flat. Um, aside from this one, obviously hasn't really been touched, but you know, it's all getting there. So fingers crossed. Thank you so much for watching. Um, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Let me know how your uh, pan those palettes, pan that palette are going, is going. Um, and yeah, don't forget to have a good day. Yeah, <laughs> bye.